Roderick Milton Chisholm, November 27, 1916 to January 19, 1999, was an American philosopher known for his work on epistemology, metaphysics, free will, value theory, and the philosophy of perception. He was often called the philosopher's philosopher. Topic: Life and career. Chisholm graduated from Brown University in 1938 and received his Ph.D. at Harvard University in 1942 under Clarence Irving Lewis and Donald C. Williams. He was drafted into the United States Army in July 1942 and did basic training at Fort McClellan in Alabama. Chisholm administered psychological tests in Boston and New Haven. In 1943, he married Eleanor Parker, whom he had met as an undergraduate at Brown. He spent his academic career at Brown University and served as president of the Metaphysical Society of America in 1973. Chisholm trained many distinguished philosophers, including Selma Bringsyord, Fred Feldman, Keith Lehrer, James Francis Ross, Richard Taylor, and Dean Zimmerman. He also had a significant influence on many colleagues, including Yeguan Kim and Ernest Sosa. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Philosophical work. Chisholm's first major work was Perceiving 1957. His epistemological views were summed up in a popular text, Theory of Knowledge, which appeared in three very different editions 1966, 1977, and 1989. His masterwork was Person and Object, its title deliberately contrasting with W. V. O. Quine's Word and Object. Chisholm was a metaphysical Platonist in the tradition of Bertrand Russell, and a rationalist in the tradition of Russell, G. E. Moore, and Franz Brentano. He objected to Quine's anti realism, behaviorism, and relativism. Chisholm defended the possibility of empirical knowledge by appeal to a priori epistemic principles whose consequences include that it is more reasonable to trust your senses and memory in most situations than to doubt them. His theory of knowledge was also famously «foundationalist» in character, all justified beliefs are either «directly evident» or supported by chains of justified beliefs that ultimately lead to beliefs that are directly evident. He also defended a controversial theory of volition called, "...agent causation", much like that of Thomas Reed. He argued that free will is incompatible with determinism, and believed that we do act freely. This combination of views is known as libertarianism. He developed a highly original theory of first-person thought according to which the things we believe are properties, and believing them is a matter of self-attributing them. A similar view was developed independently by David Kellogg Lewis, and enjoys considerable popularity, although it is now known mainly through Lewis's work. Chisholm was also famous for defending the possibility of robust self knowledge against the skeptical arguments of David Hume, and an objective ethics of requirements similar to that of W. D. Ross. Chisholm's other books include The Problem of the Criterion, Perceiving, The First Person and A Realist Theory of the Categories, though his numerous journal articles are probably better known than any of these. Chisholm read widely in the history of philosophy, and frequently referred to the work of ancient, medieval, modern, and even continental philosophers although the use he made of this material has sometimes been challenged. Nonetheless, he greatly respected the history of philosophy, in the face of a prevailing indifference among analytic philosophers. Chisholm translated some work by Brentano and by Husserl, and contributed to the post-1970 Renaissance of Mariology. <laughs> <laughs> Direct attribution theory of reference 
Chisholm argued for the primacy of the mental over linguistic intentionality, as suggested in the title of Person and Object 1976 that was deliberately contrasted with Quine's Word and Object 1960. In this regard, he defended the direct attribution theory of reference in the first person 1981. He argues that we refer to things other than ourselves by indirectly attributing properties to them, and that we indirectly or relatively attribute properties to them by directly attributing properties to ourselves. Suppose the following bed scene. 1. A man M is in bed B with a woman W, namely, M B W, or 2. A woman W is in bed B with a man M, namely, W B M. If I were M and you were W, then I could directly attribute to myself the property 1 or M B W, while indirectly to you the property 2 or W B M, thereby referring to you. That is, to say one is relatively to say two, or to explicate MBW is to implicate WBM. His idea of indirect attribution 1981 is relevant to John Searle's Indirect Speech Act 1975 and Paul Grice's Implicature 1975, in addition to entailment. Topic. Chisming Stylistically, Chisholm was known for formulating definitions and subsequently revising them in the light of counterexamples. This led to a joke definition of a new verb Chisholm, v. To make repeated small alterations in a definition or example. He started with definition D.8 and kept chisming away at it until he ended up with D.8. While intended as a joke, the term has found some use in serious philosophical papers, for example. Topic bibliography Perceiving, a Philosophical Study, Ithaca, Cornell University Press, 1957. Realism and the Background of Phenomenology Free Press 1960 Person and Object A Metaphysical Study London G Allen and Unwin 1976 Essays on the Philosophy of Roderick M Chisholm ed R M Chisholm and Ernest Sosa Amsterdam Rodopi 1979 the First Person, an Essay on Reference and Intentionality Minneapolis, University of Minnesota Press 1981. The Foundations of Knowing Minneapolis, University of Minnesota Press 1982. Brentano and Minong Studies Atlantic Highlands, NJ, Humanities Press 1982. Brentano and Intrinsic Value, New York, Cambridge University Press, 1986. Roderick M. Chisholm, ed. Radu J. Bogdan, Boston, D. Rydal Publishing Company, 1986. On Metaphysics, Minneapolis, University of Minnesota Press, 1989. Theory of Knowledge, Englewood Cliffs, N.J., Prentice Hall, First ed. 1966, 2nd ed., 1977, 3rd ed. 1989. The Nature of Epistemic Principles, Nous 24-209-16, 1990. On the Simplicity of the Soul, Philosophical Perspectives 5-157-81, 1991. Agents, Causes, and Events, The Problem of Free Will in, Timothy O'Connor, ed. Agents, Causes, and Events, Essays on Indeterminism and Free Will New York, Oxford University Press, 95-100, 1995. A Realistic Theory of Categories, An Essay on Ontology New York, Cambridge University Press, 1996. Topic. See also 
Franz Brentano American philosophy List of American philosophers Notes <laughs> <laughs>